What you see here is a uh, stock Gibson Les Paul that we are planning to convert to one of our conversions. And it's in kind of rough shape now because we've already kind of started taking it apart. But uh, for the benefit of the camera and to add a little bit of drama to the uh, building of a guitar, we thought we'd show you exactly what we do. We are now going to hand carve this body. Is it dead yet? <laughs> My axe is still sharp enough, I can shave. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you gotta be a little bit insane to be in this business. In a way, it's a shame we have to do this, but it's really the only way we can get a Gibson neck. Here it is in slow motion, in case you missed it. You know, I had so much fun doing this uh, the first time, I just uh, had to do it again. But seriously, here's Barry with the body he made for this neck. This is a Les Paul body we're building for a customer. We're doing a Les Paul conversion where we make him a finely handcrafted body with a book matched heavily quilted maple top on a solid mahogany back with traditional black white black white bindings. And we generally take a customer's Les Paul and we keep the neck and waste the body and uh, wind up with something that looks like this on a Les Paul. You'll virtually never see wood like this on a stock Les Paul. This is a clearly defined quilt with each blister boldly outlined perfectly even all the way out to the edges. This is truly a magnificent piece of wood. We featured this guitar earlier in our custom paint segment. And I wanted to illustrate our optional all-access neck joint, which really makes a Les Paul a lot easier to play. This guitar was built for somebody with extremely small hands. And he wanted the neck paper thin. For reasons of comfort and aesthetics, we usually remove a lot of excess wood from this area. Here's a prettier one. See how the body contour is much more graceful and shapely, downright sexy. I'm talking about the guitar. The stock Les Paul is cumbersome and clunky by comparison. You see, the Les Paul was designed almost 50 years ago, and playing styles simply hadn't evolved to where they are today. Guitar players back then sat down way in the back of the orchestra hidden from view, and basically played nothing but chords, and rarely if ever played above the 12th fret. Don't get me wrong, I'm not knocking the Les Paul. It's probably the most classic instrument ever built. After all, it was the first solid electric arch top to utilize tone wood combinations to create a great chunky sound. Very few companies have ever been able to replicate the sweet sound of an original Les Paul. <laughs> Here's a few more examples of some of our finished conversions. We offer a multitude of different colors. In no way could these be mistaken for original Gibson product, especially when you look at the back of the guitar and look at the neck joint. Currently, we're even offering Carina wood backs. And this is the guitar that you saw me violate so sacrilegiously with the battle hatchet. Barry Lippman our master luthier and resident genius was present when I chopped up the Les Paul earlier in the video. He had to show me up and decided to literally blow away this Les Paul we were converting.
when the dust settled, and it turned out to be not quite as dramatic, he decided to pull out the big guns. <laughs> well, I have to admit, I've been one-upped. But we'll be doing another video next year. And I can't wait. <laughs>